I will try to keep my uh, comments short. Um, I am thrilled to be here to support um, Attorney Edwards' uh, nomination to be in the New Hampshire Superior Court of Justice. My name is Lisa English. I am the most recent appointee to the Superior Court. Um, I've known Anne since 2010 when I joined the Attorney General's office. I had the privilege of working with Anne in a number of capacities in the service of the people of New Hampshire. To me, Anne is an exceptional leader, mentor, and friend. Um, in my nine years at the Attorney General's office, we worked together on many, many, many matters, and I could come up with very specific stories about her commitment to the citizens of this state, but I won't, given the time and the number of people who are still waiting to speak. But I can talk about the innumerable lessons that I've learned from Anne on New Hampshire law, on judicial process, on how to mentor junior attorneys, and how to put the rights of citizens and an eye towards justice at the forefront of our work. And I can think of, I'll give one example where I was a very new attorney. I promise I'll try to get through everything very quickly. But I was a very new attorney, and there was a legal issue that came. There was a meeting with a number of attorneys there. And there were some folks that came up and said, I'm not going to get into the specifics. Here's the defense to this issue. And Anne's first thing was, yeah, OK, so we can understand what's right for the individual, what's right for the citizen, the member of the public that we're talking about here. And I've never forgotten that in, in any of the work that I've done. And it's um, something that um, she is consistent with. I believe that Anne will be an exceptional judge with her years of experience, she lives and breathes New Hampshire law and judicial process. She can see the big picture while diving into the details of any challenge. She is decisive. She actively listens to people with competing views. And I don't mean she just looks like she's listening. She hears people. She can, you know, there's a point she hasn't thought about. She's going to take it into consideration. Um, she understands uh, the impact a judge, the court, and the law have on real people, not just on attorneys, not just the people who choose to be there, but people that are pulled into court, whether it's civil or criminal. Um, and she talked a little bit about that. It's not just, you know, the obvious, the more obvious impacts of ruling. Delays, I mean, delays in the court system and the impact that that can have. The impact that um, a ruling can have on not just the individual, but their children, their families, their community. She keeps all of these things in mind while still being able to focus on the important legal issue, legal issue um, that she is before her. Anne balances in a wonderful way toughness, patience, clarity, and empathy. She can communicate with an individual with no legal experience who's in crisis as they've been thrust into a judicial process. She's able to do so in a way that conveys her respect for the individual and process. We've heard today praise from, um, I, I had uh, attorneys on the other side, I liked the term professional adversaries, who have fought with Anne vigorously on important legal issues. And they came in here to commend her and her work. And I think that's just another sign of her fairness and ability to communicate. If confirmed, Anne Edwards will work tirelessly bringing all of her many skills, her sense of duty, her persistence, her commitment to fairness and transparency to the bench. So I ask that you confirm Anne's nomination to the Superior Court. I'm happy to answer any questions. Any questions? Seeing none, we thank you. Thank you.